But welcome to Style Direction, a menswear stream of stuffiness. This is your host, Ethan M. Wong. I don't know who else is joining me today. Um, it's it's totally fine. Uh, I'm gonna put Friendster up here. I'll you know I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait a little bit to see if some people kind of come in. Uh, yeah, Kyoshi, I know it's been a damn long time since we've watched you, since you, we've done a stream. Uh, I feel the last time I did this was a couple months ago, maybe already, where we talked about, uh, you know, a pity, uh, summer pity, <laughs> which was already like, you know, like six months ago at this point, maybe, or whatever, but, uh, we're here today. We're just, we're just talking. We're, we're talking about menswear. Hashtag just talking. Hashtag just talking. Um... And, you know, for some of you who don't know, uh, or, or sorry, I mean, not that you don't know, but um, this was actually discussed already in the GQ Discord, uh, which I'm a member of. I'm, I'm not in there a lot. I kind of just filter, I filter in and out kind of like a krill, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Uh, I was just there, and I, I got to catch a little bit of it while I was at the gym. While I was on the clock. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> okay. It's okay, we all do things, right? We all, we all, you know, we all do stuff while we're on the clock. Especially when you work on, when Hi. you work from home. What are some of the things you do on the clock, Spencer? Well, I'm currently not on any clock right now, because I'm looking for a job, so. Gotcha. Uh. Everything I do is off the clock, or it could be on my own clock, but I'm not paying myself. I'm not my own boss. You know who's got a crazy clock? Who's got a crazy clock? Um, uh, Salvador Dali. That is pretty crazy. Have you seen the clock? It's called like a mystery clock or something. I, uh, uh, but it's, it's, an it's an illusion where uh, the whole thing is made of glass, and uh, so you can't see any of the clockwork, but you know it's there. It's like oh, somehow hidden like what, in like, like a glass something, something den or like something. This? Well, I can't see. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Are you streaming on on uh, Discord? No, I'm streaming. I'm streaming. Uh, here, I can stream on Discord. Okay, only on Twitch. That's fine. Here, I, there we uh, go. Is it yeah. like like one of these yeah, things? That's it. The Jefferson yeah, Mystery Clock. Cool. Uh huh. Is, this is cool for you. <laughs> that's cool for me. <laughs> How does this work, actually? I, like, I, it's like hidden in the rim around the edge, I think. Yeah, I think I wa I think I saw like there's like a watch that's like this, I think. Yeah. Mystery clock. How does it work? How does it work? Uh show me. Hands float on a face. This is this is creepy as hell. Yeah, how how does this work actually? Good question. The two disc move while it works in the base on scene connecting gears fixed at six o'clock in the frame. Cartier's secret of the mystery clocks. Just show me a fucking video, bro. <laughs> Just show me a video. Imp floaters. Um, Did he say imploders? No, I said floaters. No. Oh. Imploders would be Just a good Just show me a picture. Me. Why, do, why do people have to, like, fucking. What is it? <laughs> Why can't they just say we're the imploders? It's a transparent crystal toothed wheel. So the ah, a crystal toothed wheel, you say? That doesn't. That still doesn't mean anything to me. Do I, do well, I like... that, you know everything. Okay, think about a a tooth. Okay, how now does a mystery clock work? Okay, blah blah blah. Right now, I've got. I've plugged got, in. I got plugged in. I'm plugged in. in. Glue the glass. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, yeah. So the six, so the whole fucking glass moves, and the six, and the second hand is what moves, or the second hand, mm -hmm. uh, is what, is like stationary technically, but the whole thing fucking moves. I get it now. I understand. Uh, slightly off topic. I was um. Uh, what's it called? I was watching um, this show. You're watching, and they were like uh, these two guys were like uh, they 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 were they were caught in a lie, okay? Oh and, no! Yeah, and one of them was like like oh we were rehearsing a play. It's like oh you guys should do the play in front of us, 
<laughs> and it's like, Isn't this oh, okay. Monsters, Inc.? Yeah, kind of, it, you know? Yeah. Um, but then one of them was like... <laughs> it was like, the setting, an apartment. The people, two guys that date <laughs> September 11th, 2000. Oh, no. And the guy goes, and that's it, just 2000. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I thought that was really funny, and at the end it's all like, so Bill, what do you think you're gonna do a year from now? And I'm like, nope, nope, <laughs> let's, like, let's stop it right there. Yeah. And it's I like how the Saw movie, the first Saw movie, takes place on September 10th, 2001. That's, wait, really? Yeah, and that's like just a coincidence, it wasn't like, it's not like your next trap is like 9-11 or something. <laughs> Although that would have been really funny, it's <laughs> like he gets, he escapes, yeah. he escapes that bathroom. And then he's like, oh my god, I just gotta, I'm, I'm, I almost missed my flight, but luckily, you know, I'll be able to get on United Flight 93, oh, Jesus. or whatever. <laughs> and it's like, it's like that one movie I at can... the end where Robert Pattinson's looking at a window and then just zooms out, and it's, you know. Yeah, and it's 9-11 it's happening. 9 yeah. I've talked about this, but I think... Can we even I'd talk really about this? <laughs> I don't know, I've talked about this, like, I don't know if I've ever talked about it on the pod. A movie okay. idea I have that I think would be really funny that what, yeah, tell me about you it. can't make is, all, you know how, like, there are, like, like a bunch of celebrities that have, like, oh, I was almost on a flight, like, you know, that was gonna, like, that, uh, like, on 9-11 or something. Yeah. Um, uh, I want to make a movie where they're all there. So like the I think the two main characters would be Mark Wahlberg um, and Seth MacFarlane. Mm -hmm. um, Mark Wahlberg famously said, "Well, I don't know if he actually was going to be on that flight, but he he has said if I was on that flight, let me tell you, 9/11 wouldn't have happened." Um, and so I've always just wanted to see a movie where he does that, where he stops 9/11. Um, and so we got to digitally de-age him to make him look closer to how he did in like Boogie Nights or whatever, right. uh, Planet of the Apes. Um, we got to got to get Seth to digitally de-age him too, but he can be doing a bunch of voices. It could be funny, um, you know. I think I <laughs> hey, think Ben <Bin> Laden. <laughs> <You're not> <laughs> exactly, he's doing like Peter. Yeah, he's doing Stewie. Uh, let me just really quick do celebrities who almost died in 9/11. Okay, and I'll tell you the rest of the cast. Okay, here you go. Let's hear it. So, of course, um, Jackie Chan. Oh, shit. Really? So he was going to be, uh, allegedly, this is not confirmed, but allegedly he was going to be filming something on the towers the morning of 9-11. That's, um, that's crazy. I, so I think he needs to be part of it too. So he's in the towers. That's how we get, like, you know, it's like, two, we keep, we keep cutting back and forth between... Here's the plane, and here's Jackie Chan, you know? Yeah. Um, and then Rob Lowe was gonna be, was gonna be there. Um, uh, the actress from, from Precious, uh, Gabri, uh, Sidibe, she was gonna be there. Okay. Um, oh no, she was, no, so she was actually, she was, uh, going to be, uh, attending college in Manhattan, and the building that she was in was hit by rubble and later collapsed. Uh, Sarah Ferguson, oh Fergie, um, she had an office on the on the North Tower. Uh, let's see, Ian Thorpe, he was a Olympic gold medalist. Um, see, and this these okay, none of these people were on the plane. Um, yeah. Except for Mark Wahlberg and uh, Seth MacFarlane. Um, but I still think it would be a pretty good movie. Uh, Kiyoshi says if his... Jackie Chan was at 9-11 on the tower, he would have stopped it. He would have stopped it on the towers? <laughs> he would have stopped the plane. <laughs> yeah, kind of like how Cap yeah. uh, like, like pulls the, uh, the helicopter in Civil War. Yeah. yeah but you know, it's like, it. you know, they made Ted together. I figure, like, let's get the Ted boys back. Teddy boys. It's on United Flight 93. Yeah. Uh, all right, everyone. I think that's enough time. We can dive in on this stuff. Diving in. Let's dive. Yeah. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, I hate. Also, I hate how we, I, I, you know, I don't want to have the, all the lights on in my room, but I also the, like the fact that it's that GQ is not in light mode. It just makes like it washes me out. It looks it look like fucking uh, Voldemort over here. Um, uh -huh. Or that jump scare. Who's the jump scare? Like the really pale guy, like the really smiley pale guy thing. Really smiley pale guy. Yeah, the, like the classic jump scare image. You know that 
You heard of that? Oh, are you talking about the Jeff the Killer? Yeah, Jeff the Killer. I look like Jeff the Jeff Killer. Jeff the Killer. Yeah. Oh, it's so scary. Uh, but I'm Ethan the Mentor guy, and this is Spencer. I can't have my camera on because okay. I can't. It can't be on my desktop for a couple of reasons. It's uh, my headphones right. broke. No, I'm, I'm just. I want to offer some expla explanation. But yeah, my headphones. Yeah, broke, offer some so expletives. We have AirPods. Yeah, watch this. Fuck. Oh, Ass. Yes. Hey, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think that? What do you think that uh, rooster is saying? Cock, oh. cock. Yeah, cock. Oh, I was watching Murderville, uh, the the, the okay. like, improv show with with uh, Will Arnett, and there's an episode uh -huh. where where um where Jason Bateman's in it, and they like like do an impression of an animal, and then like and then at one point uh Jason Bateman goes cock 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 cock, and you can see Will Arnett like hold back laughter. Uh, it's nice. really, really good. Anyway, we're diving into this. The 59 do's and don'ts for getting dressed right now. Uh, this was released about a week ago. About a week ago. Uh, by the editors of GQ. And so, basically, this whole intro paragraph, which I'm sure you guys have been, like, read reading it. Uh, it says here is, um, sorry. Who's, who's the hell's in here? And the, oh, MJ's who's in the, the audience. Who's the hell is go. this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna add this right to speak. Here you go, you MJ. Should. Join me. Um, I said the here and now. After the wild, welcome MJ. After the wild style era of menswear, I guess of the current time, it's finally the moment. Finally, feels right for them to lay down a few sartorial edicts. And so we're gonna check it out here. And yeah, so debate them. It's up to you. This is the GQ's debate. do's and don'ts for getting dressed right now. Okay. I here's my do's and don'ts. Yeah. Do put on underwear. Okay. And, and what and don't clean underwear. And don't don't do do in them. Well, we're starting off with breaking a few rules. Uh yeah, that's anyway. right. Oh shit. did you poop yourself? <laughs> yeah, I did actually. Can we say that? <laughs> Are you yeah. allowed to say that you pooped yourself on yeah. Twitch? I'm banned. Anyway, Kai Sanat, everybody. Man. Uh, you remember how when Kai Sanat got, um, well, he got arrested for inciting a riot? That's right. And then, and then, uh, our good friend, who shall not be named, posted, like, oh, Ethan started the riot about wide leg pants. I thought that was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I wish, I wish I could start a riot with wide leg pants. We gotta that is a joke. All the different Twitch, not, I'm not uh, we, like, all the, every, every once in a while, I'll get clued into a streamer that apparently has, like, like three billion followers yeah um and i've never heard of them before but it's like um we got to start doing all the scandals that they're doing the, who's the guy oh, that we, just got... you're saying you you want to we want to be to do those scandals yeah okay. i want to do the i show speed accidentally show my dick on stream <laughs> type thing that's, or it's bad or show or that i'm looking at like uh i'm at like ai porn or whatever can who is, who is a streamer that? that just got like like swatted or something? They've been having like a mental breakdown and oh, like shit. they just got swatted. Oh, that's uh, yeah, that's that one like prank YouTuber, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I want to do that. Did you guys hear about? Did you guys hear about the the guy who does like the Chris Hansen stuff got like killed? Like, like Chris Hansen got killed? Oh, no, 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 a, a, like a Twitch streamer or YouTuber oh. who does like Chris Hansen style like. Like you know, like you know, uh, like arresting pedophile or like or like 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 baiting them and then like turning them into the police or whatever. Uh, uh -huh. He the thing is like he's controversial because he um, was not always correct <laughs> when the stuff happened. Okay. And I think he got oh. he got like he got like stabbed or shot or something and he died. Oh no. Yeah, pretty pretty shitty. Um, I mean, I mean, I was also uh, doing slandered people is not good either, but you know. Uh, I was just yeah. reading about uh, a, a, a YouTube prankster mm -hmm. um, who they also they got shot. They didn't die um, during a prank, um, and the person was like, I think they, I think they, I, I'm pretty sure that the, the the judge ruled that it was like totally cool to shoot that guy because he was annoying, <laughs> <laughs> or that's what the jury ruled. Sorry, I, but yeah. I um, mean, jury's out. I saw, I saw a clip and. Like him and another guy were like harassing like a DoorDash driver oh, yeah. or something. Oh, and the DoorDash. But it driver... is so funny because he just like pulls out the gun like one swoop, like one motion. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna if if you're gonna shoot somebody, I feel like you should be ready to do it like that. Okay, you can't do yeah. it. Yeah. 
Anyway, in Minecraft. we're gonna, yeah, anyway. anyway. Uh, yeah, I wish, I mean, we should just have the, like, I should just do just chatting stream, but I'm just, like, just hanging out. I was, like, looking at shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, we could, be, we be could little, do some be little, uh, later, maybe, if my computer doesn't shit itself. Well, we got, we got some content to record for our friends later on, so we can't... Yeah, we, that's gonna knows. take a 15 minutes. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, you know, I was saying, like, do a little, do a little Cody Co where we just re react to things online, baby. Oh, One of those stuff. Uh, okay. Anyway, we got 59 things to cover in this hour or whatever we're doing right here. So let's jump into it. Number one, repeat your outfits over and over. Trust us. No one is asking you, but keep, no one but you is keeping track of how often you've worn those jeans with that shirt. Part of the beauty is holding other clothes a long haul, finding new things to enjoy about them. How like how good your ass looks in those jeans or that how sick a tie looks with that shirt. And once you've worn them so thoroughly, you thought they had no secrets left to be reveal. Here's the thing, I know I'm famously anti-outfit repeat, but that's because I just never get to do it. You never get to do it? Yeah. Because you have so many outfits to do. I know, exactly. I, you know, once I've hit the end of it, maybe then. But it's like, again, why would I rewear a combination when I haven't worn this combination that I've been looking forward to all week? That's, that's my whole thing. Mm -hmm. And so that's just a different approach. I think if you find like a, a a uniform that works for you, I think you should absolutely do it. Um, but again, it's like for me, it's you know, oh yeah, I know that shirt and tie look really good, but this shirt and tie also looks good. So how how do you pick it? How do you how do you pick between the two? So that's what how I do. do. You pick? That's what I do. Yeah. What do you, what do you guys think? I mean, I know you guys outfit repeat. Uh yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I think it's uh, I think it's fine. Um, you know, I've been, I've been kind of like, I think I've talked about this before where, uh, not necessarily trying to restrict myself, but in the last like year or so I've been trying to figure out like, what is the core Spencer? Um, and so I think that that involves wearing a lot of the same pieces. Um, also I'm just like out, out of practicality, like if I'm not leaving the house, like I'm going to wear, you know, I have like my fatigue pants, which are big and baggy and comfortable. I'm just going to wear those with like, you know, a bunch of my button ups. <laughs> and yeah. so inevitably I'm going to outfit repeat, but you know. Yeah. Like I mean, today I'm it, wearing the, the band collar shirt with the uh, fatigue pants, which is something I'm, that's like not necessarily like a go-to. Um, I don't know. I guess it is a go-to because they're both just comfortable <laughs> to wear and I think yeah. they look good. So yeah. Yeah. It it just it just works. You mm -hmm. find the things that work. Works. I mean, e Ethan already said it, right? It sometimes you need something that works, and that's usually what you repeat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, number number next one. Cool it on the flares. Flare jeans, if done right, are killer. But it's look like boogie nights out there. Let's put the boot cuts on ice and revisit in a few years. This seems very like oh, it's a little too much. You know, it's everyone's yeah, all the I same. Feel like, I feel like the time is now though, because yeah. Everything is everything. I'm not. I'm not a guy that wears flares. I don't own flares, but uh, you know, I like. I'm a guy that just watched Boogie Nights. Like and so five million like, hey, times. It's a little Boogie movie. Nights. Yeah, yeah, it's such a good fucking movie. Yeah. But when it's like, hey, we don't want to look like that. I'm like, what are you talking about? I want to look like fucking Dirk Diggler and Jack Horner all the time. Yeah. 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 I mean, me too. I mean, every time I every time I go out is like flares. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. Like my my dungarees or like my, my my other flared uh, the my khaki dungarees. Jeans. Yeah, my flared chinos. Uh, Dan Dan says flares are absolutely not too much. Not enough guys wear flares. And that's also true. You know, I get this, Mr. Samuel Hine. If you're if you're out there at your GQ parties at the Rhinelander Mansion or whatever <laughs> shit, then yeah, maybe maybe everyone's wearing it. But when I'm going to the boba shop, absolutely no one's wearing flares. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one wearing pants. Cause... Just kidding. That's not true. What what does what does Sam Hine even? Uh, what, what what are the basic outfits of Sam Hine? Oh, he's probably wearing Sam Samuel Hine. He's probably is he? He's the one dating Ella Emhoff, right? Ah. Yeah. See, I this mean, guy. This guy I just so. wants. I mean, he's wearing flares right here, dude. Look at the look at these boot cuts <laughs> with the sambas. You know. Here he is he's with the, the edgy Albert. So that so that <laughs> it stays niche. Is that what's happening? I mean, that's just how it is. You know, I was saying how like. You know, I was talking to a friend, and this is this kind of echoes stuff in the in the uh, in the in the Discord, but it's like 
a lot of people are like ex skaters where like the whole idea is gatekeeping you know it's like oh you can't be a poser right like don't don't wear our clothes if you're not one of us and like whenever someone does something like okay we gotta move on to something else for me it's like i'm a like i was i i was in a in a situation or a context where no no one's doing what i'm doing so like if i see someone else i'm like yes i've got a friend you know what i'm saying like it's like you got a friend so i don't i don't care you know there's more of us there's more of us and i i, I think that kind of defines our more inclusive take i mean sam, sam looks great he this is cool like the tom brown with the skirt i think that's really cool but like mm -hmm. if i was in the skirts and i was like oh there's so many skirts out there i'd be like no i want oh that, that i would that wouldn't be me i'd be like yeah look another dude in the skirt i want that you know yeah. that's how that's how i feel anyway uh flares I'm, cool I'm not cooling it on anything uh when faced with I'm a choice eat it up in fact yeah when fa <laughs> yeah i'm gonna burn them uh when faced with a flare fires how about that uh when faced mm. with a choice between Here's being overdressed and underdressed do the former classic that's us too uh i have a whole blog post about what does it mean to be dressed up or what does it mean to be formal it doesn't mean anything anymore so you might as well just look good you know what i'm saying no one ever feels bad for the guy wearing a suit and everyone else is in jeans but they feel all sorts of things for the guy wearing jeans and everyone else is in suits to be fair there is no situation that i have to be in this that this will happen to me um mm. most of the times i'm the only guy in the suit whoever else is in jeans I'm not at some fucking corporate event where everyone's wearing suits. So, just, I mean, just yeah, wear, that doesn't just wear don't jeans happen. and a jacket and then you will Yeah, then you're perfectly fine forever. Yeah. Mm. Uh if it has stretch in the mix, don't buy it. Uh yeah, I think this is totally fine. I feel like we've gotten away from this now, but I think uh with all of the huckberry shilling that we've been seeing right now where everyone's like, "Yeah, a little bit of stretch is okay." I'm like, "Shut the fuck up. You're wrong." And I'd like to see more Huckleberry uh, shilling. Oh my darling! You know Huckleberry, <laughs> Huckleberry, Huck Huckleberry Hound. Well, he wasn't. I guess he wasn't the one that painted the fence. But I was gonna say it's like you know, yeah, um, just painting it's, fences get, and shit. Get somebody else to paint the fence. And here's the yeah. thing: everyone always says it looks cheap. the The real thing to get people to stop wearing stretch is the heat aspect, the the, the dryness of the fabric. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. that's what makes polyester and stretch and etc. Just not fun or good to wear um like it just i don't know i mean i don't like feeling dry in my pants bro like i'd rather have something that feels soft. i want to be wet <laughs> yeah i gotta be so wet <laughs> uh try dressing like oliver twist question mark i don't hang on hold on okay uh i really like only two kinds of pants either a wide crop where you see a nice sock with a derby boot or floor grazing slowly almost slightly returned trouser Oh, everyone like they're in a Dickens novel, like British street urchins. A lot of crop pants, big shoes, brushy socks. I took everything these days. I mean, this. I mean, first off, let's look at let's look at Oliver Twist. I don't think she. I don't think she means um, just, just looking like a... looking like this guy here. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe this this is like fine. I mean, it's just just wear bigger pants and no shoes. I guess yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next thing they're gonna say is like dress like classic men's wear the Esquire man. I bet you. I, I wonder why. Here's the thing. Why haven't why hasn't GQ or like I mean Esquire written like, hey, remember when we did this? We should dress like this now. Like I'm I'm like why why hasn't that happened yet? Um if your pants have belt loops, always wear a belt. I I'm with this on this. I think that there, there's a whole bunch of um I won't say slander, but like, you know, like during the hashtag menswear era of like, oh, if your pants fit well, you don't even need to wear a belt. Cause like, that's a sign of a well-tailored trouser. It just looks weird without a belt. Mm -hmm. I think, especially like jeans, like at least wears like suspenders or something. But like, I think that you yeah. just need, you just need something there. I feel like. I, I did it recently with like, um, a tucked in tee. I don't know. I like, I got dressed and I looked in the mirror. I'm like, I had the jacket on and I was like, this actually looks kind of cool. Um, no belt, but, but tucked for in the tea? most part, yeah. But okay. for the most part, I agree. I mean, I always feel like my waist fluctuates throughout the day, so I feel like I need a belt usually. You need, you need to have the B. Yeah, I need the B. I need the B. Uh, need the B. Dan says he's convinced a tiny bit of elastin is okay in corduroy. Uh, dead wrong mm. on that one. Actually, I don't like any stretch in my corduroy because I can always feel it. I can always tell that there's something there, and it's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. Uh, freak your footwear game. F your mother effing G's. Um, 
If oh shoes make it the man, then y'all are pretty boring. Thanks, Gerald Ortiz. Too many dudes are playing it safe when it comes to someone that's a real shame. Breaks out some fuzzy mules, go wild with strappy sandals. I mean, that's actually true, right? I think, I think, I mean, I'm the one who wears sandals and loafers and opera pumps and stuff, so I guess I kind of understand this. Guy. I know, MJ, you know, you have those, like, kill tie, yeah. uh, kill tea loafers, right, from Yucatan. Kill tea loafers. Yeah. yeah. Spencer, I mean, you've got the camp shoes that I think are really cool. I love it's, those things, man. It's yeah. funny because, like, to some people, like, even pair of boots are crazy, which is funny to me. Yeah. People are like, what the hell? Remember when our friend was like, oh, look, it's you guys are both wearing boat shoes. I should wear boat shoes like you guys. I'm like, have you even seen what boat shoes look like, bro? <laughs> like, no offense are to you, you, pal. insane? Yeah. He's, he's crazy. Uh, one head accessory at a time is ideal. Two is absolute most. When it comes to sunglasses, hats, and earrings... Um, two hand size is the absolute threshold. More accessories make you a bitch head work punchline. I will say I've heard this uh, from our uh, from Natty Adams himself that I am dandy author. He said like, yeah, you can't have more than two things. It's like, like, and he counts the facial hair as, as like an accessory too, which is like, hey, we're gonna talk about uh, hair next year. Um, but it's like, yeah. Um, we should um it can be a little too much like i sometimes have trouble like when i'm wearing glasses like like when i'm not wearing my contacts i'm like and then i wear like a fedora or with it, i'm like damn this feels like a little too much you know mm -hmm. um but i definitely feel like yeah you can kind of tell like how crazy the top half is going um i think sunglasses don't count because you can take them on and off but it definitely definitely plays um with everything else uh i dan says i can't have a beard glasses and a hat maybe get contacts i don't know that's like no. <laughs> the, the thing about that uh, is i'm not gonna shave my beard and sometimes i need to wear sunglasses and a hat like i, don't know. I feel like i feel like it's like sunglasses don't count i feel like sunglasses don't count it's well, like yeah especially it's like, if you need them to see right it's like, yeah it's, it's like sometimes it's, listen it's, it's bright out it's bright out it's, I, like it's i get just... what the thing i can't do I'll say when I'm like, this is way too far. Uh, flashback to like 2020, uh, the, like <clears throat> masks and sunglasses were bad. Um, I guess the, the worst was mask, AirPods, and sunglasses. <laughs> but that wasn't like, oh my god, I have so much going on. That's the on. best, man. Just it was just like, you. it was just like, well, it was I have so much going on. Just I have so much going on around my face that I can feel. Um, yeah. And it's all pulling against each other, so you know. Right. No good. No the good. Um, number next one. Wear your dress watch casually and your sport watch formally. I feel like that makes sense. That that's kind of classic sure. right there. It's very nineties. I feel like you know. Yeah, I like I like a gold watch or something. Yeah, with like a nice leather strap with whatever. some casual looks. That's kind of fun. And I always love wearing my uh my swatch with like a tuxedo. So. Mm -hmm. uh, pants look better with a break. I'm starting to come around this way because I start wearing suspenders and it makes my pants a little too high. Uh, mm. So I definitely feel like just, I mean, just the shivering break. Like just like just kissing the top of the shoe, you know, <laughs> just just, just just right right before it becomes a full break. Just like a, like a, maybe not even a half, like a quarter break, maybe. You know what I'm saying? Like, a little bit. Like on the like on the cusp of being a break. Yeah, just on the on the, on the tiniest cusp right there. Yeah. Definitely I mean, not above pants... the ankle. Your pants also move up and down during the day, too, so I feel like yeah. it's, it's not too bad. Uh, next, create a work uniform. I definitely think this is a good idea. It, to me, as someone who works from home, I feel like it does make a little bit of like a separation of like when you're feeling productive or when you're like on the clock. Uh, it's just mm -hmm. that for me, I try and blend that with like going out. Uh, well, not maybe not going out actually, like you know, like 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 a daily attire. Like I don't, I don't. When I wake up, I don't immediately put on like you know a spear point collar. I put that on later on during the day, but it does help me go. Okay, this is like my intentional outfit. And then when I come back home, as you guys can see from the camera, I am wearing like a you know a gym bay at home, but kind of like lounge wear. Um, also, because it's like fucking oh, nine thirty. Um, but yeah, I think you know I think work uniform is good to uh, kind of separate, have some compartmentalization, cut more stuff up. No. Cut it up. <laughs> uh, it up. <laughs> uh, chop your busted jeans to your favorite shorts. Uh, maybe if they're like really busted, but uh, I feel like I would just patch it. I feel like that's cooler than cutting it up. Mm -hmm. uh, Spencer has some crazy jeans that are fucked up. 
and I feel I like some fucked up crazy jeans. But he has patched them. I feel like that's really good. I have patched them. Turn your um, unflattering. Yeah, I'm gonna need teens. to get my. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm gonna need to get my teenage jeans patched up. And again, like the thing is, like, like what what are they saying? They're saying, yeah, they're saying to start patching more stuff up, right? Yeah. Or to do uh, crazy things. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just like again, like I think I think that where, where I'm coming from, where like I need to patch up these jeans is because I want to keep wearing them, <laughs> um, yeah. rather than like oh I just want them to be like a cool aesthetic thing or something. Yeah, I definitely agree here. I I don't know about cutting them into crop tops, but I definitely think like like patching a t-shirt is kind of cool, you know, or mm -hmm. or again you know the OG you know putting some elbow patches on your OCBDs or your. Or even your sport coats. You know, I think that's kind of a fun move. Uh, bust yeah. up your kicks before you wear them out. How about just wear them out and let them get busted up? I mean, I, that's probably what they're saying. That's probably what they're saying. <laughs> but, but yeah. Just, just roll them around in gravel. For well, here it says here one first. former GQ editor goes as far as to drive his car over his Chuck Taylors a few times. That's crazy. To get them a right, just, just wear them. Like just, just wear them, and just they wear them don't out. Look like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. You know, but all you guys fucking live in New York, just jump around the fucking New York subway. You know, like in the fucking puddles and shit. I'm sure, I'm sure they'd be fine. <laughs> just walk uh, on the sidewalk. It's yeah, fine. there you go. Wear the, okay. Number next one. Wear the clothes you own. Put some thought into what you buy, buy things that you like that fit and have a need for, and then wear the hell out of them. Don't be a collector or a hoarder. Life is too short and square footage is too valuable. We've been saying this forever. I love wearing my clothes. In fact, I love them so much, I want to see my friends wear my clothes. Uh, so that's how that works. What's the alternative? Wear the clothes you don't own? Just borrow forever? Well, I think the alternative is, is don't wear the clothes you own. Mm -hmm. I you, you just own them, but you don't wear them. Uh, next, shopping vintage, know your measurements. I think that's fine. We talk about that all the fucking time. Uh, bow ties are never cool unless you're wearing a tuxedo. I wear bow ties mm -hmm. and I'm definitely not cool. So I, I think, think this is fair. Uh, but I love <laughs> looking uncool. I, I, I feel like you can make it look cool, you know? I think um, it helps if you've well, got like it, a beard like... and facial hair. You know what I mean? Like you just gotta like, you gotta lean into guess, like... Yeah. In, like I guess when, I can think of yeah, yeah. some... Ethan Newton photos that look cool, but would you describe like Reynolds Woodcock as cool? Is elegant cool? No, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> but mm -hmm. you, but that's okay. My whole, I just read a whole article about how it's fine. Like, I mean, I've read so many, I've written so many articles, but it's fine to be not be cool. If you like it, it's cool. All right. If you like it, be cool. Yeah. Uh, tie sweaters around your shoulders. I used to do this a little bit. I still don't wear sweaters enough to kind of do this but i think it's fun 80s you know there's a whole article about it from like three four years ago that i did this on maybe i'll do it for more transitional mm -hmm. weather i like it when i'm like hanging out like if i'm like really really casual like i remember during the pandemic or like maybe like 2021 or 22 or whatever i uh i got home oh i was done working again i work from home and then a friend was like hey do you want to grab a drink and i go well i already changed out of my suit it's kind of hot it's kind of you know i don't feel like doing anything so i just kind of put on a t-shirt and then I tied a sweater around my shoulders, and mm -hmm. everyone thought that was sick. And I'm like, cool. So, there you go. Uh, with doing with a hoodie is kind of fun. I don't know if I'd do that, but that's an interesting move. All right, get everything tailored, even your t-shirts. How about don't okay. don't tailor your t-shirts and just tuck in the damn thing? How about how about that? Yeah. How about like it's okay? I don't think your t-shirt. The whole okay. I know that we've, you know, in our Discord, we've talked with Chuck about like, you know, like OCBDs are meant to be fussy. Like if the sleeve's a little too long, you can just roll up the, like the like the cuff like halfway or whatever to get the right fit. Like you don't have to spend money on it. I think it's fine to tailor your Oxfords because I feel like that's that you know sometimes the wrist area, wrist to wrist cuff cuff to jacket comp uh, interaction can be a little bit tricky. But your T-shirts, don't think so. Just buy the buy the right size at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then just tuck it in. Yeah, I don't think you have to tailor, but I do think you should tailor your trousers, etc. But usually, here's the thing: you don't have to taper things. You usually just have to, you know, it's usually fine. I think length yeah. is probably the, length, and maybe like the waist of your trouser is probably like the main part you should kind of fix. That's A friend it. of mine told me yeah. that someone they they know um, and don't care for <laughs> gets all of their t-shirts tailored at the sleeves. To make them tighter and nowhere else and i've always thought that was pretty hysterical just that's like, kind of crazy yeah 
Uh, never wear shorts to the movies or on a plane. I mean, I'm not gonna do that. I might, <laughs> but because I just don't wear shorts that often. Yeah. But that's why. Why can't you wear shorts to the movies? These people, I don't think yeah. they don't live in a place where I'm like, oh, midnight showing. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Who cares? Like, they don't, I don't live in fucking California, obviously. Yeah. So, they're, yeah. they're just some damn New these, Yorkers. Some of these are are like fillers, man. They just wanted to pump up that. Yeah, uh, they gotta get to that 59 that number. 50, yeah, they, they couldn't figure out one more, but they got 59. Yeah. Uh, embrace bigger collars. Totally. With you know, yeah. you know, totally fine. We've, we've I've written about the super point collar, you know, years ago. Uh, no more sneakers with suits. I think it's fine if it's like, well, it's kind of hard because like Converse, be... with, yeah, Converse with a suit still feels very like Vampire Weekend. Um, yeah, you just have to be intentional about it. Like, if you do like a cool like wide fit khaki suit with some like canvas deck shoes, know, yeah, canvas deck shoes or even some like you know like kind of retro like New Balances or something. I feel like that can like, look yeah, good. like a work suit. I do agree here that putting common projects with a business formal two piece looks played out. I think yeah, that's you gotta totally be, fair. you gotta be, like I said, you just gotta be, um, you gotta be cool. You gotta be cool. Yeah. Uh, lose your sleeves more, uh, more often. If your upper arms only see the light of day in a dry fit tank at the gym, it's time, it's high time to let them shine outside of the weight room. I'm not a big fan of just wearing the wife pleaser with trousers. I feel like mm. I don't like my body that much to do that. I like and, having a jacket with it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. For me, the whole, it's all about jackets, bro. I mean, yeah, you got to put your hands in something. Um, I also, as a sweater vest, I'm going to get itchy. I have sensitive skin. So, yeah, that's my thing. Uh, document every fit. Absolutely. This is a, this is a thing. Uh, I think that you don't even have to post them. I agree with that here. Just snap a photo. Save it for yourself. Maybe, maybe post it on your story. It doesn't have to be a big deal, but I think it's fun to document stuff. Just like how people document, you know, their gunpla that they, that they fucking make or their fucking... You know, their gym gains or every book that they've read. Like, I think it's fine to document what you're doing and, like, have it be, like, a a source of pride when you look back and, like, oh, look, I, look at what I've done or to kind of reflect on. I think that that's, I think that that's kind of cool. And, uh, oh, my God. And, I'd like, here, if you're ever not sure what to wear, open up your fit gallery and let it guide you. There you go. It just goes hand in hand with the outfit repeat. So, mm -hmm. really cool. Uh, I, you know, I want, but I want Spencer and MJ to document their fits more, too. So, cause yeah. I can have them. Um, don't wear more than one big visible logo at a time. Uh, this doesn't apply to me because I don't wear logos. So. <laughs> I hate logos. Yeah. I uh, hate logos. Never tuck your pants into your boots. Uh, <laughs> not when you're, not if you're not playing Airsoft. That's right. Uh, I think this is fine. I think it's kind of cool with, like, fatigues and stuff if you're doing, like, a Milserp thing. I think that's totally fine. Uh, buy multiples of anything you love. Don't know how I feel about this one. Mm. At least not at least not in one go. You know what I mean? Mm. Like I feel like yeah. it's fine to do it like over time or that if you know you like something. Like I think obviously I have like four Brooks Brothers OCBDs. You know, clearly I love the OCBD and clearly I like the Brooks Brothers version of it. And so I have multiples. But I, I'm not like, oh, I like this one, I'm gonna buy ten or whatever. I think that that's because you end up not wearing it, you know? So I think it's fine. One thing I heard in the GQ Discord, though, was uh, a guy was like, he should have done this because the thing that he liked went out of stock forever. Mm -hmm. wow. He's like, oh, he's like on the search for it. And I think that's kind of like kind of like the fun part of clothes, too. You know, like maybe it's just because I'm a vintage guy where it's like, you know, you can't you literally can't buy multiples of stuff you love, at least in one go. Like you're just, you're just kind of forced to like, you know, if you, if you find it, then you happen to find it. Right. Like it's, you know, mm -hmm. so that's something that you can actively act on. Um, next, the caramel dress shoe is over. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's, that's so fine. right. It's, yeah. That's so uh, right. Or at least I it, hope it is. The, my like my it's, worry is... It's been over, I feel like. It's uh, been, yeah. I was gonna say, that's... You know, but, if, it's, mean, if this is for us, man, maybe the fucking Doc Martin bluchers are out or over. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Uh, what were you saying, MJ? Oh, I, I, I just said, oh boy. To oh, the... okay. To the oh boy. Yeah, next one. Your watch is probably too big for your wrist. It's so true. Yep, go back. I mean, we've been saying this too, you know, 36 to 38 millimeters, baby. Or maybe 30 even even 34. 33 uh, tank, man. Yeah. Uh wear whatever glasses you want, your face shape doesn't matter. Absolutely true. I do think the size 
of them matter. Like, they obviously don't want it to be too small where it's pinching your your, <laughs> your temples. They physically matter sometimes. Yeah, yeah. but I don't, I don't think it's like you can't just wear, you know, oh, I have a round face, can't wear round. I wear round glass all the time. It's all about the look, baby. Mm. It's all about the fucking look. Uh, it's cool that your jeans are from Japan, but you don't have to tell everyone. Totally fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's fine. Understand your body. Boy, do I. I... I, oh, I was yeah, gonna say. Yeah. I know every. I know every. Night. I listen. I, so. I, I listen to it every night. You know what I'm saying? I listen to it every <laughs> night. Uh, but it I think this be... is good advice too, like knowing have like you, how your shoulders you, and everything. You, are. Have you ever seen really quick? Have you ever seen Scent of a Woman? I've only seen the scene where yeah. they're dancing. You got. We have to watch this fucking movie. I was watching a clip from it earlier today. Yeah. Where, uh, you know, Al Pacino's completely blind, uh, yeah. and he's talking about how much he loves ladies. But he oh, said yeah. something that made me think so much of something you would say. Where he's like, "There's only two syllables in this in this life worth hearing, kid, and it's pussy." Hell yeah, dude! I, of course I'd say that. <laughs> it's just so fucking. It's such a crazy line, but I kind I kind of love it. Uh, don't be snobby about about band T-shirts. Uh, yeah. I don't listen to any bands, so I don't. I don't, I don't listen to music. <laughs> I, I think it's you. fine. I think it's fine to. to I, I don't know, like, like this thing, like you know, you can't do the whole policing thing, uh, where mm -hmm. you're like, hey, you can't wear that if you have to listen to it. I think that that's weird. So not not to out my friend. Of, maybe I'm not gonna say his name, but I was hanging out yeah. with a friend and we met up for drinks and he was wearing a Megadeth like tank top, like like a, like a yeah. cutoff thing, and. I love this guy, okay, but I know that he's guy. he's definitely kind of trendy, or like you know he definitely like follows some of the trends. And I know that you know the kind of like you know metal T-shirt with like you know with with like uh, like wide leg or like ripped jeans with like you know New Balance or whatever is like cool or like Dunks. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm like, listen to Megadeth now, Are you EDM fiend, and he's like. He's like clearly, clearly he didn't do that. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. I I do think that with band t-shirts, I think you should at least listen to it. I think it's fun. I think if you should. I think I, that I don't know. Yeah, I th you know, I think it's gonna. There's always good. I mean, I like Star Wars, but I feel like I, I find good Star Wars merch uh, that is cool enough to wear. It's not like a fucking like Disneyland t-shirt with like Yoda and a cup mm. of coffee or whatever. It's it's cool. It's cool. You know, Yoda. <laughs> yeah, saw... Yoda's, a, Yoda's a student. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's like, I'm not yeah, saying it's like, oh, you know, you're like a poser if you can't list like every song that the band did. But it's like, I, I see the videos, um, you know, of like teachers making fun of their students because they're all wearing like band t-shirts and none of them can, like li literally none of them can name a song. Yeah. And it's like, again, there's nothing necessarily wrong with it. I just feel like that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> like, wouldn't you want to know who the fuck is on your shirt? Like, yeah. at the very least... Well, like okay, imagine just, just one, you're wearing a, you're wearing a T-shirt of like a metal band, and then someone's like, "Oh, you know that this is group is like they're a bunch of like like neo Nazis or something from Sweden or something." I feel like I would want to be I would want to be aware, um, just in case that, something like that happens. That's like that's like the time I uh, in uh when I was still at PCC and I asked the guy in my class he's wearing he was wearing like a Chicago Bulls shirt and I was like, "Oh." He, you like basketball? He's like, no, I don't. And <laughs> the conversation just stopped there. Come on, yeah. dude. Uh, pack light it forces you to be creative. Stuff the clothes mm. you love most to a care and figure out once you're there. No. <laughs> don't do this. This is crazy. <laughs> I think it's wild if you do this. Uh, take stock of what you have. Yeah, I think it's good to know what yeah. you have. Yeah. I think um, I wouldn't have a 230 pair collection of sneakers, but, you know, that's cool. No, uh, that's me. Wearing a t-shirt, tuck it in. Yes, sir. Yes, tuck it, sir. Tuck it in there, tuck yes, in everything. Sir. Buy a yes, fancy sir. tuxedo. Hell yeah. I think a tuxedo is yeah. great, and you can wear it. You I can definitely good. wear it more than once. I think it's fine. Versus a non-fancy uh, tuxedo. Yeah, like a denim tuxedo. Even then, that's kind of sick. Uh, never wear <laughs> flip-flops outside of the beach or pool. Yeah, I agreed. Mm. Agreed there. What about to my haircut? Well, don't. Uh, yeah, where... I mean, I'll also say the thing about like flip flops really quick is um, they hurt. 
At least the ones that I have. Every time I wear them, I get blisters. Okay, maybe, maybe you, maybe you have different problems. No, well, because no, I just have the fucking uh, like Yucatan ones, and like every time they end up like slipping off my feet and giving me a big fat blister on the top of my foot. Anytime I, like, I've tried to like wear them. It's like, oh, I'll just walk to Seven Eleven or something, like, which is you know, like, a block away from my house, and then I come back and I have a blister. It's not good. Yeah. Owie. Uh, mm. next, wear a tie without a jacket? Absolutely not. <laughs> that, that ain't it. Consider yeah. the rogue tie, your secret weapon to make the outfit look like the right amount of considered. Just wear a jacket. Just, it's just, just yeah. it's just missing, man. Yeah, it's weird. Or, or don't wear a tie at all, bro. It's fine. You're yeah. fine. Uh, next, ignore the TikTok hordes. That's right. That's, oh, well, that's definitely true, else. baby. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's weird to say he's trying to find out some trends that will last. I, that's kind of a weird way to talk about this, but I feel like it's fine. You don't have to follow everything you see on TikTok. You definitely mm -hmm. don't even have to listen to what we do. You just, just, just make sure that whatever you do is intentional, that you enjoy it and you'll wear it. Just try yeah, and think. Exactly. Just, it's fine. That's our whole thing. Yeah. That's our philosophy. That's our you philosophy. Know. Never cheap out on a watch. I'm sorry. I buy swatches. Mm -hmm. I buy I, Casio and Timex. Yeah. Um, just like, what's the cheapest Rolex you can get? I mean, I guess it's fine. Like, I mean, you, the, you could you could probably get like a Oyster Perpetual. That's probably their cheapest one for like five thousand. I'm just gonna guess between six and eight. I think. Let's, I'm kind of curious. Can you go on the Rolex website? Like, like, are you talking retail? Yeah, like retail. Oh, okay. if you want to go vintage, you can absolutely get something cheaper. But I think their cheapest retail model is, is the is the Oyster Perpetual. How do I? Let me just Google Rolex Oyster Perpetual. Uh, How did it know? Okay, because it heard Spencer say it. It heard. It heard. It heard. You gotta go through the whole animation. Uh, okay, this one with the with this crazy 56, ass bubbles. 50. I was gonna say, I'm guessing you'd like that one, right? The bubbles. No, that's not my graphic design style. Okay, you don't like that. Here we go. Here we go. The classic. Here we go. Fifty-eight hundred. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Okay, so six. And how much is the Rolex Submariner? More than that. What is it? 91. 91? 9.1. Oh, okay. I was going to say 91? It's actually like a yeah, little wait, bit less. This than one's actually. Guess. Okay, now now, now, now we're in Vin. Now we're like pre owned. Well, yeah, because you're in Bob's. You're at Bob's Watches. Damn, these are these are crazy prices, bro. Uh, Jesus Christ. Check out these prices, Jack. <laughs> yeah. His name is Bob. That's a lot of prices. That's a lot of prices. <laughs> <coughs> Damn, but this this one's sick though. This one's so cool. Oh, the black on black. Oh, oh with the with like the cream. Man, this is not a watch. This is not a watch uh thing. But <laughs> hey, this one's only ten. Yeah. Ten point five. He scrolled past the uh, nine ninety five uh, hundred one, but yeah. Oh really? I mean, I'd yeah. want I want yeah, like, I mean, I'd want like a. The... Like a 38, right? Because I mean, 40 is kind of big, obviously. Yeah. Damn. 38 max, I think. Yeah. 38 max. 38 max? 38. Why is this one 26? On, oh, because on of the red writing of the word Submariner. Details, baby. Jesus. Oh, there we go. 9.9 9 .9 right here. Ooh. That's 40 also. Yeah. I just buy a rep watch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. All shoes look better with socks, that is true. Uh, I do sometimes go sockless, but not always. V-neck sweaters, good. V-neck tees, bad. Only as undershirts. It's, uh, going back to the, the shoes one, I feel like it's hard for me to go a full day without socks yeah my feet will kill themselves It'll, because uh they'll, yeah. They'll, yeah. <laughs> yeah they're just uh, bad yeah be selective of your camouflage 
There's only two tribes, real tree and tiger stripe. Uh, what about fucking, uh, Mitchell camo and shit, dude? That's right. What about frog? Yeah, frog. That's right. Frog camo. A guy said that, uh, tiger stripe was the worst camo uh, in the in GQ insane. discord. That's, it's the cool, it's the coolest one, dude. Yeah, you, they're wrong he, about that. Yeah, like, did you ask him if he liked, uh, uh, what is it, uh, digital or, uh, oh, the, yeah, uh, the, dude, the worst the other variant the, of that? Yeah, I was, uh, so. they asked me to be on the thing because they were like, because like, uh, I think one of their hosts, like, like dropped out, like, because of the internet problems and, I was like, I'm at the gym, man. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't talk right now. Mm -hmm. I, I would have been like, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, no we'll Windsor tie knots ever. Absolutely, I have a whole one of my yeah. first articles is don't wear the Windsor tie knot. Yeah, baby. Um, and I, there's a video I have of John Greenacre, my friend, who uh, is saying that he hates the Windsor knot, and that went went semi viral, and all the comments like this guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so people hey people on tiktok love their winter knots apparently i don't get people think it's like it doesn't look good like that's I, what i don't know like i don't know do they i think they probably just i don't know why they get so like, like no, no offense to this guy wearing like a michael scott tie with an h&m like shirt here but this is not this is not good Mm -hmm. Like when yeah. when like when did people like when did people wear that like the 50s like the late 40s or whatever? Like even even Bond wore a fucking foreign hand. Look at this fucking picture. It's a foreign hand right here. Look at look at. This I picture. will say, and here's the thing. He looks bad with this winter knot. That's like yeah. the tie looks weird. It looks weird. Like it, it's like it's like a weird hourglass, but it's not it's not even. The, the foreign hand just works with the width of the tie. Look look how good he looks right there, dude. It's so good. Look at this guy! Look at this guy! This guy <laughs> this guy knows how to do it. Okay? Look at look at how good this tie knot looks, okay? Who the hell owns this jacket now? Is it Jay? Or is it MJ? You gotta uh, ask. I think it's Jay. It's not I me. think it's Jay. I still wear that shirt. That shirt's awesome. I still have that tie. Shirt still fits. Jesus Christ, a a Windsor knot with a cutaway is like the worst thing ever. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense <laughs> That's because so bad. this is it's I mean, just horizontal, man. Oh my god, yeah, it's it's crazy, dude. <laughs> like even this is crazy. This like double foreign hand with the. I mean, also cutaway collars look like shit. Mm -hmm. Also, this this is this one's crazy. This this foreign hand. This yeah, one you gotta have nuts. longer. <laughs> Okay, first off, there's a okay. A lot of people are like, yeah, this only fix this fix this. Number one, okay, it's it's all holistic. Get a longer collar, get a thinner interlining in the tie. Foreign hand mm -hmm. done. You don't like, oh yeah, of course the tie's gonna be thick and make a thick knot if the tie's fucking thick, man. Like that's that's like come on, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is this, dude? It, when, when your tie knot's when your tie knot is longer than your collar, that's that's yeah. wrong. Holy shit! Holy shit! Look at this one. Can I? Can I? Like what the? Can I, can I zoom in? Oh yeah! Look at this shit. This is crazy, dude. This is like Damn. it's like it's like you have a rolled up newspaper around your neck right here, man. This is good God in heaven. <laughs> that's that's crazy, dude. Fucking Jesus Christ. Can't show that guy. Um, God, I, I guess I can. Kind, I guess I can kind of show some Prince Charles or King Charles. I guess. But this is this is yeah. good. This is good tie knot interaction right here. Right here. Hang on, I'm gonna be listening, but I'm gonna be. This is this is it right be here. Muted because really I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'm gonna talk for a second, and if I make a sound, you guys need to tell me because I don't want to <laughs> poop on stream. <laughs> you didn't have to say it like that. Ay -yo -yo. Anyway, let's move on here. Uh, don't match your socks to your shoes. Um, I feel like it's fine. I think it's kind of fun to do like brown shoes with brown socks, um, or navy. Or I guess I wear navy with 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 black shoes just because it's dark and I like I a little bit of color. I, I feel like it it'd be hard to find the exact shade of. The yeah, shoe I think I think it's fine. Like you know, like I I wear like chocolate brown socks. I like it as hosiery. I think contrast between your pants is good. I definitely opt yeah. for like darker or like you know really light. Like again, like wearing white socks or something. So. I think it's fine. Don't buy us for the only way to the holiday party. That is fair. That's totally yeah. fair. I think it's cool to find like 1940s Christmas 
Christmas sweaters. I think these are Christmas. cool. But obviously, like, it's like, it's kind of tough to wear this outside of a Christmas party, even though it looks sick as hell. It's really tough to do. Yeah, one time, one time used clothes are kind of bad. Yeah. Damn, this one's awesome. Uh, okay, the perfect white t-shirt doesn't exist. Totally fine. You do not need, you do not need the Marisby Schwannen shirt. I have a J. Crew Heather t-shirt. I have vintage Hanes. Straight from the archive, as in I found an unopened Hanes box from like 2000 in my in my Ooh. in my dad's closet. Awesome, it's great. The ultimate, huh? The ultimate, like yeah, mid, like yeah, early aughts or whatever. Or that's not aughts, yeah. it's just early 2000s. Uh, laugh at the idea of don't laugh at the idea of ladies' watches. Or laugh at the idea. Oh yeah, because it's not it's not about yeah, it's it's, it's like, like gender it fluid. If, yeah, if you're yeah. Wearing... Agreed. I think it's just fine as long as it fits your your wrist and the size makes it look proportional i think it's totally fine yeah and i mean like the you know the modern men's watches are so huge just yeah for the invicta watches. dude crazy you know my Bad. cousin said i heath and i got an invicta watch i said why yeah <laughs> uh, uh rare sneakers not an outfit this is definitely true I, this could apply yeah. for everything i think i think having a really expensive suit doesn't make your outfit good i don't think having an expensive tie or even a hat it's enough. I think you gotta be holistic. It's gotta make all make sense. Let us see it right there. The whole picture matters. So makes sense. Uh, don't overindulge during sale season. <laughs> um, yeah, agreed. Completely right here. Um, don't don't overbuy anything. I think. I mean, we've all been we've also come to buy stuff on sale, but I think it's good to be self aware about it. You know, so definitely it's okay there. Uh, next one and get into handbags sure i think a tote bag a leather tote bag is cool um let the yeah, canvas whatever if you want to call it a purse that's fine by me i don't think it matters i think just i hate having things in my pockets so yeah put in your tote bag don't worry about supreme Supreme doesn't worry about you this doesn't apply to me i don't really care so it's fine is this, yeah is this another this is like another filler one i think i think it's kind of like because a lot of gq guys now are like x sneaker heads i feel like this kind of makes sense or x X Street uh, guys. Okay. Friends don't wear front let friends wear Henleys. I think it's fine if you're layering it in like a workwear kind of Americana way. Not my preference, mm -hmm. but I think it's okay. But definitely the Henley with jeans and just like just like that. I think it's kind of weird. Just plain. And I think Henley with a waistcoat is also bad. So that's a weird interaction. Uh trust your instincts. Definitely true. I think if you know you like something, you probably do have something kind of camaraderie with it that you know you're going to wear again or something that you like from it. So I think that that's fine. Trust your instincts. Um, I never can tell if the music is distracting. I feel like I need it because I can't just talk for two hours. Uh, I mean, you have it low enough on the Twitch stream that it's fine. I think. Okay, perfect. It's up to you. Uh, okay. Uh, next, copy movies and paparazzi shots. That's what we do. We definitely love copper <laughs> copy movies. I definitely don't do copper shots because you know they're they're stylists. You know it doesn't make it doesn't to me it's not interesting to me uh, to do that. So I think movies where you know it's cinematic dressing is is the key. I think it makes the most sense. Everything is kind of considered, and I think it's fine if the if the if the if the actor doesn't dress like the movie outside of it because we're not we don't need the actor. I want the character, bro. That's we, that's, we are, that's it. We are the character. Uh, next, actual sports jerseys versus designer sports jerseys. I didn't even know people made designer sports jerseys. So this is not yeah, for it's, me. I, it's kind of like the uh, like wearing actual brand merch versus the made-up brand merch. Yes. Yeah, I, I, def but I think that makes sense. That's that's like yeah, that's like the basic equivalent. Uh, expand your hat vocabulary. Uh, try berets. Yes. And backwards kangles, not my thing, but okay. Cowboy house, how hell yeah, dude. Cowboy. Yeah, stay, cowboy stay, stay clear of short broom fedoras and pork pies. Yes, sir, I agree. What are you, Robert J. Oppenheimer? Yeah. Pork pies. That's not a yes. pork pie hat. Uh, remember that every time you buy something, you're supporting someone. That's good. I think it's good to do that. I think it's fun, you know, to support small businesses or brands, small brands, etc. Just be, just be aware of. What you're you know how things are made as much as possible um but yeah 
always just older than you are. I feel like we've all been doing that by default <laughs> because of like <laughs> oh, vintage, for sure. by, by doing vintage clothing. Uh, it kind of makes sense. They say here, you know, if you're trying to be over 65 or like if you're trying to if you're 50 trying to dress like you're 20, it's embarrassing. Totally fair. I think it's weird to dress too young. Uh, but right, we're going to be at an age now where like nothing really matters anymore. So I think it's fine. You know, nothing matters. We'll see. Oh, that's it. It doesn't matter. Thumbs up. OK, that's it. We've done Hell it. Yeah. Look at the dog. Oh, how Instagram ruined personal style. Yeah, maybe I gotta I gotta okay. read this one later on, guys. This is kind of. I gotta put this one in the spank bank. <laughs> Can you you still that? gotta call it that. We're allowed. We're allowed to say things. I know, but it's just I haven't heard somebody say it. It's so long. <laughs> I just think it's a funny thing to to say when you're like saving an article to your bookmarks. Yeah. I gotta remember this one later. I gotta save this for later. Frothing. What happened? Yeah. Why doesn't J Crew have like the editorial page anymore? I'm kind of curious, like what, what, like, like there's no. Uh, when when are they gonna do the? Uh, Did like they have the, a separate the Drake separate stuff right now? I don't know. Uh, but that hey, they have like a fucking uh, Norwegian sweater. That's kind of cool. Mhm. Mm mhm. Yeah. Anything crazy that we should that we should like look at right now, dude? Like, what? I don't know. Is there like a? Should we go on YouTube? <laughs> should we check out? Yeah, before the, before, hey, we, before we do what some we... Uh, before we do some uh, recording for the oh, TV Ooh, friends. lessons in elegance. Look at Mr. Bruce Boyer. That doesn't look What's like that? a Drake suit, though. Maybe the shirt and tie only. He's getting measured for something. One of my hey, that's a cool tie. It looks like he's wearing a jacket that's too big for him, but I think that's that nice. Fair. I think that Bruce Boyer, it doesn't know what size he is. So well, that's like that we know measured. more than Bruce Boyer. Yeah, obviously we know more than this guy. Yeah. Uh, I wish I could do an impression of Bruce Boyer. Yeah, Bruce, this is it's time to this step just aside. makes me want my single breasted. Uh, my single breast khaki suit again. God damn. God oh, damn. That's a nice one. Oh, God damn. We're going to have to do that next year, I think. I'm going to have to fucking do it. God you damn. Have to get it. Khaki? Yeah, because I can't oh, get the other one. Uh, damn. I do love. Bruce Boyer is a fucking style icon. Just because, like. I, I don't think young guys dress like. They're, 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 you know how, like, there are things that people do that, like, just kind of work, you know, like, that, that just have some gravitas to them. And, you, and that makes it very personal and something that's not always repeatable. I think when you when you look up like Bruce Boyer, like the, he dresses like not like a young guy would dress or alternatively, uh, young guys just don't dress like Bruce Boyer, like mm -hmm. like this. I mean, maybe this like kind of Drake's ish look, but it's like, yeah, there's something. I mean, you know, obviously everyone knows that Bruce Boyer is a fucking legend, but like like this whole thing here, right, with like, you know, like the askew tie bar with the, you know, with the geometrics and the thing like it's just. Yeah, young people just don't dress like this. I feel like that, I feel like I feel like that's, that's yeah. really really cool. They don't. Um, and I think it's yeah, I think it's really really good. Like this, like come on, like Tattersall or like like a like a window or graph that's check nice. shirt with like a like this like oatmeal greenish window pane jacket with a Calvary Calvary trail trousers, and that's really cool. Yeah, damn. I mean, Bruce Warrior is kind of like Esquire Man, I feel like, you know, he is like, like, there's not a lot of guys out there who are quite Esquire Man. Although he does like his spread collars a lot. He just, um, <coughs> he's very trad. There's a lot of trad stuff. Yeah. I mean, am I, I mean, hey, we're gonna have to discuss this on the thing. Like, am I trad? Like, do I, do I count as trad? I think I put that in the notes. Well, not, yeah, not, like, does not, that... Not verbatim, but, like... If I look up Ethan yeah. Wong on Google, like, what actually comes up? Like... Dressed like Ethan Wong. Just like, yeah. Wow, it's not oh, even, it's not style. even my, it's not even my blog, bro. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, how, how long does, how, how far do you have to scroll to get to? Man, look at the third image right here, dude. Hell yeah. Damn, skinny legend, dude. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like 20 in this photo. This guy's this guy's sick too. God, yeah, yeah. This is kind of I guess this is kind of a trad outfit. I guess like just looking at it. 
I feel like, like I, he does trad sometimes, but yeah, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> like, like this, this is not trad. It's, par it's part of your arsenal. Yeah, yeah. Not that guy. Ooh, who's that? Hell yeah, dude. You know, if I still had these pieces of high, or if I had like modern versions of this, I would actually still wear that. Damn, hashtag men's were over here, dude. Damn, this is man. What happened to this tie? Did I just straight up lose this tie? Big Damn, hey, down. brown so. jacket, gray pants, baby. It never leaves you. Never. <laughs> Damn, we gotta get some of that diner food again. Okay, this is pretty yeah, good. We there's, gotta go to a diner. There's uh there's a lot of uh oh, yeah, there's an article that, that Dan wrote or that interview before. Great mm -hmm. outfit with some with some great some great people. Ethan and Isabel right over there. I guess that even this is kind of a trad fit, like the like the, the rep stripe block stripe tie with like the tweed suit and everything. This, I guess this is also kind of trad too with like this like navy blazer with a sweater vest. Yeah. Damn. Damn what damn this is pretty good actually. Got time to repeat it? Is that is that what we're hearing now? <laughs> this is not the thing I repeat actually. This is not good. The <laughs> proportions of it are nuts. That's crazy. This is Kind of, although I kind of dress like this today in the sense where I wore like a gray check jacket with gray trousers, like the like kind of a contrasting mm. kind of thing. Damn it! But this is this is it. Oh, with caramel shoes because that's the only shoes I had. Uh, Carmi, Carmi. Uh, but yeah, if I look up Spencer Audi, what do yeah, you sure. get? Probably gonna get my muck rack profile. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the hell Wait. is this? What the Wait. hell? It kind yeah. of, it kind of, it kind of is. If Spencer was, yeah, in, I mean, it's Trump, Trump, it's Trump, it's Trump. Like, look at this guy's fucking. Oh, I can't, I can't even. Hold on, let me just. That's open the equivalent this. of bald with a beard for drinks. Look, look at this guy's face, dude. Like, this yeah, is that's Spencer, that's Spencer, bro. Wait, hold on. Did you Google Spencer Audi and find that, or did you Google Spencer? I spent Spencer T T T E. By accident. Oh, that's okay. Okay, let me do Spencer. Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, I'll have the Spencer Odin. <laughs> oh, you're right. That's hilarious. There we go. Damn. Yes, yeah, Damn. Look right. at this one. This is pretty good. This, is a, this is a great. This is the, 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 the professional headshot. The cream check. Hey, shout out John John Huang for that one. Mm. Damn. Muck right, right here. Got a good second one. Here's my muck right Why is there no old? I mean, I guess it's just because. This is because it's uh like you don't have photos pre pre you know pre like pre yeah. shaved head I guess well, I guess you have kind of shaved head. Here. Well, because oh, it's also go. gonna it might be fucked up because I mean there's a lot of stuff that's like yeah I took this one your flicker or whatever but there's also like I'm seeing some things that are just attached to articles that I've written. Yeah, like like the nuts. You were interviewed this. on Medium. No, what what is this? Med medium. Anyone could be uh, on Medium. Uh, what is that? I, I don't even know what uh, that is. Spencer Audi, the illustrious writer path. Oh, this is something that someone wrote for like a fucking project about me. Nice. <laughs> yeah. What you know what's yeah, so like funny? A class assignment. You know what's so funny is that this says Spencer Audi author put this on it. This is not Spencer, but it kind of is. It it's is not, not me. It <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not Spencer. It's yeah, not Spencer. Song. Yeah. See all like all these are just like thumbnails from articles. What about this? Yeah. Or that. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I mean, imagine if that suit still fit you. I I fucking sold it. It probably would have fit me. Yeah. And there's one Ethan picture here. Biggest mistake of my life. Hell yeah, Did brother. You know I was wait, hold on, is that one of my Spotify playlist album covers if you scroll down? Uh, there Rockabilly it is. Radio. There I it is. have a couple playlists on Spotify that are surprisingly popular. I'm not trying to brag. But um, <laughs> it's every couple months I'll get like messaged by someone. It's like, hey, please add this to your playlist. And I'm like, no, <laughs> just because you asked, I won't. <laughs> Why don't they just add it to their own playlist? I don't know. Well, because they want me to. They want me to add their music. Oh, Sorry, I'm Jay. Personal... You got nothing. <laughs> well, I I like hide, so like yeah. it makes sense. Dressing my boyfriend. Let's see what this looks. What this brings up here. Here we go. Dress my boyfriend in outfits he wouldn't normally wear. He's in there. Outfit one.
you know, I read some good discourse about how like girls are just trying to make their boyfriends Instagrammable, mm -hmm. and uh, it kind of removes any personal style from these guys. I look like all these outfits are like Harry Styles or something. Yeah. Like Harry Styles doesn't dress like this though. I think. Harry Styles just this is crazy, no? Yeah, Harry Harry Styles, Harry Styles, like Harry Styled, Harry Style. Yeah, that's. Harry I mean, like, maybe like maybe like this, like the kind of Scott Fraser thing going on here. SLP baby. Uh, yeah, you see, what grandpa looks like this? That's every time someone says grandpa vibes. What does that mean? <laughs> like it what doesn't. Does your grandpa look like like that's not what my grandpa. My grandpa wears like a fucking. Like a wife pleaser and like trousers, you know what I mean? I mean, I guess that that kind of works. Wait, is this just the previous one without the cardigan? I like it. That this is the worst fit. This one's the worst fit, actually. No, okay, they said no too. It's stylish because you're wearing a black shirt and pants. Crazy. That's right. Ooh, it's the same cargo jeans, just in black. Why am I not getting oh. like okay? Also, I'll, the cargo I'll... jeans were bad. I dressed my oh. boyfriend. You, uh, wait, I, okay, this is slightly unrelated, but do you guys know the like Mr. Freedom like cargo jeans? Like it's one of their earliest things that they made, um, and they are just really wacky. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of them. They have the. They have what they call like a document pop pocket or map pocket. Like literally right on the bottom hem. <laughs> do they do they still have them or not anymore? They probably do, uh, or like some, like some version of them. But I know it's like a very iconic Mister Freedom piece. Uh huh. There's another yeah. 35 year old virgin get the style makeover. Whoa! Wait, really? He did another one. Oh my god! Did he delete the first one? With, no, because uh, because it's right here, dude. Very stuffy. Didn't he? Didn't we think we thought he deleted it? We yeah. thought. She's gonna feel overpowered. Loosen up the look. Just roll up your sleeves. You look like a million bucks, and I bet you feel like a million bucks. You need to use that confidence to get the girl. Don't be disrespectful to your mom. But you see what we did here, though, right? That's this it. is what is giving you. Damn! How how is Jose glass doing, dude? How to have glass skin? <laughs> I don't want to have that actually. <laughs> I, I want to be glass, Joe. Glass bones and paper skin, man. Yeah. The more sex, the less. Marcus Aurelius, bro. What are you? What are you doing, man? Oh, what are you? Doing? He's gone down this rabbit hole, has he? Yeah. This is yeah. bad. This is worse. <laughs> this is worse. Men will no longer this be able to have. Is this some like alt right shit right here? Well, if you scroll down, there's that like rewire your. Yeah, that the. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Re Rewire your brain. How to glow up as a guy? Parentheses science based. <laughs> oh, nice. Wait, seven judges make you ten percent, hundred percent less attractive. Their hands folded is bad, but Mister Burnsing it or or like <laughs> Illuminati triangle is how is how to do it. This is that's how you want to do it. Also, look, look here. This is the same photo as this other one. Like the, the face. The face is the same photo. Oh, he's got the yeah. same thumbnail. Yeah, the same thing. I mean, that's they, and he's well, using, using it here man. too. Uh, where else is he using it? No, that's it. It must be AI generated. I think it, it looks AI generated, dude. I mean, that's just how they all make their thumbnails. No. Did you see Mr. Speaking of Mr. Beast? Um, <laughs> I don't think I talked about Mr. Beast on this stream. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, did you see he's 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 doing his closed mouth? Uh, he's he's killing the the thumbnail face. Uh, oh, because is he, he really? Did the metrics. Yeah. yeah, he was doing A B testing, and he's like, guys, you get way more views when you have a closed mouth. And so I think I I'm not a fan of Mr. Beast. I'm not a beast head, but I do think that's probably a good thing that he's done. He's killed the thumbnail face. Kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Still my my boyfriend's clothes. Does this mean like she's doing it? Oh, okay. She's wearing his. Well, I'm surprised that there's not a lot of like I'm gonna dress my boyfriend up kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I pick out my boyfriend's outfits. Olivia Grace. Here we go. I I love this. I love I love hoodie boyfriend. I'm curious what happens. Hoodie boyfriend. No, I don't know. 
Yeah. You think that looks all right? You think that looks all right? Hey, you, you think you can steal from me? He's wearing a sweater and jeans and pants. Mm. I mean, this is fine. Like, like the kind of like ribbed or like the woven thing with the pleated chinos. Are they, these are like teenagers, I think. I like that. Like that. Like the room isn't big enough, so like he has to like climb on stuff to get the full fit pick. Yeah. Europe. Is uh, is it an app? Oh, this is a good video. I like this this person. Is he is it an app or is he just a man? I mean, that's that's what we're what we're getting at here is that the bar for men is so low that like anything that that's mm. like remotely interesting is like crazy. And I do think that women get they're expected to be really dressy, which is why we kind of were like so surprised when guys do it. And my boyfriend style me. You got Drew Joiner. I'm a I'm the same dude for a hundred days straight. What is this Spencer over here? Whoa. Yeah. Where are Molly? you, the jeans, man? <laughs> Stop Jean wearing guy. the girlfriend, man. I, you know, I'm glad Isabel's not like this, and I'm glad I'm also not doing this, to Isabel. Like, I'm gonna have my girlfriend style me. Wow, there's not, there's not a lot of my boyfriend is. I'm selling my boyfriend or whatever. That's kind of crazy, actually. Uh, I am a little bit surprised. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's because I don't know, like style, style advice. For boyfriends, like because I, I, I don't, I don't want like a guy. You know what I mean? Like I don't want like a guy doing it. I feel like that's the, we see that all the time. I just want to see like you know what a girl's taste is. Mm -hmm. Why broke guys have more style? What three reasons that is that true? Actually gives you more that's a uh, one. You don't have click to if on brand names to give on. you drip because you literally have no choice but to wear affordable clothing it makes you more creative with your outfits too you take better care of your clothing While the okay kids are really sure stepping on the back of their designer sneakers your shoes are gonna last you all year and learning to appreciate things builds character three the more basic your outfit the richer you actually look Think oh what of that stuff Luck or jay-z or even jeff bezos all these guys are millionaires and billionaires but you don't see them flexing designer brands so at the end of the i mean they're not flexing designer brands but they're still wearing like Laura Piana, so yeah, that's kind of kind of the thing. Like, <laughs> damn, wow, that's that's kind of crazy. I wonder if I okay, what's the name? Suit supply review. How about how about like does someone do that? The dad bod. Okay, that's kind of a, a good okay. a good a good thing. In my life, I've never been as excited to receive. This actually looks pretty good on him. This uh, this can we? Suit. Is there a way that we can like search and only find the guys that have like twelve views <laughs> on all their videos? <laughs> like the yeah. guys, just yeah, the absolute you, bottom of the barrel. Can, can you sort from from ascending? Someone um, who's <laughs> who's filming yeah, everything on their MacBook. Custom versus webcam. off the rack. Here we go. Oh, dude, we should. Okay, we what's, need to. What's kind of crazy? That we need to do. Yeah. We need to like just find the worst fashion TikToks and spend like an hour yeah. just watching those. Uh, or the YouTube Shorts or something. This might be worse. What's crazy here is that the the cheaper trousers uh drape cleaner. Mm. So far. How odd. Yeah, the the other one fits better. I mean, if he wanted it to fit every nook and cranny, I feel like that's what he got. Damn, yeah, you're right. There's, there's not like a, there's not like the, like the, uh, the bottom of the barrel shit on here. Yeah. Put the play off the rack by P. Do people need to review seat supply? You know, like. Like, it is like so no, big. no, no offense to this guy, but it's like reviewing Starbucks. You know what I mean? Like, like uh, what? Like, then again, mm. people do review like, like McDonald's, and I get I, but they usually pick like the crazy stuff from them. Yeah, or the or like the seasonal the stuff. seasonal yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, what makes you think that your content is better on this? And I totally realize irony in that because I've written about stuff that have existed for a long time, so I totally get it. <laughs> I mean, you see this all the time where there's people online who it's like their entire thing is about like driving engagement or whatever. But then it's like you look at their the actual stuff that they make and it's like 
this is just so shit. Like, I see this now all the time on Twitter since the algorithm change pushes all the um, people who pay for the blue check mark up to the top. Yeah. And one of the things you get theoretically with the blue, well, one of the things you get with the blue check mark is it does make your post more visible. And so yeah. a bunch of people are like, this is what you got to do. But then you look at their shit and it's all just like the most banal posts and they just like, you know, like comment on everything just being like, wow, or like interesting or something like that. Yeah. I'm like, okay, so you're posting all the time, but like, like what's worth <laughs> like actually looking at? Like, what do you, why do you want people to see you just saying like, wow, or doing the thumbs up emoji and stuff like that? Like, I just don't get it. How do I kind of how do I see it? We need to start. It's not doing about those... the price. It's about the color matching your skin tone. And it's about how that suit, if you can. We need to start doing yeah those fake podcast TikToks, except we actually have a podcast. Yeah, and we need to like we need to have like an external camera to do this shit. Yeah. Have you seen the the fake podcast where they talk about like the um? Wait, these are so funny. Enemy... What he, he there's a picture. It's it's him on the phone. This is so oh, funny. That's good. Yeah, but have you seen? There's like these two guys on TikTok that have like a fake <laughs> podcast, and it's like to I, it's to entertain like like 15 year olds or like 12 year olds, I think. But it's it's like one of those ones where it's like they are just reading a script and pretending it's a casual conversation. But it's all like like the the one that I remember is one where they're doing um, modded enemies for Plants vs Zombies, but it's just like the most baby shit of all time. It's like they have a Cuphead thing and it shoots cups or something. Um, but then in the middle of it, one of the guys goes, "And wait, look at this one. It's John Pork," and holds up his phone. And it's just like the the iPhone <laughs> calling thing, but a picture of a human pig. Jesus Christ. Let me try to find it. I think it's gonna. It's not. I don't. It's just fucking bizarre. But I, what I'm saying is, I want to find the version of that, but for menswear, just like completely algorithm, you know, like blurry, uh, like fake podcast menswear shit. How to dress for a date? Stylish first date outfit idea. Yeah. So first, we're gonna start off with some socks. <laughs> we're gonna start off with socks. Sure they're not athletic socks that mm -hmm. you wear to the gym. Then for our pants, we're gonna go with some slim black jeans. And good slim black jeans. Here we go. With. Then for our top, we're gonna go with the long sleeve white Henley because it's more elevated than a white shirt. Then you want to wear a watch because that's always gonna elevate your outfit. For my shoes, I'm gonna go with these leather brown Chelsea boots. Okay. Then I have a choice between these two jackets. I can go with the green bomber or the suede trucker. I'm gonna wear the suede trucker just because in the fall it's always good to wear a textured piece. Then before you go on this first day, it's absolutely necessary to groom yourself by doing your beard routine. If you have a beard, groom groom thyself. Skincare routine as well. And then you must add your cologne before you go groom thyself please and after you do all that you are please ready to rate this outfit and let me know if you will wear this here's the comment stylish first 20 out of 10 so first we're going to start off with some socks make sure they're not athletic socks that you would wear to the gym then for our pants we're going to go with some i wish socks. yeah i wish people had i wish they were more interesting um i wish they were more, more interesting. interesting videos on on file <laughs> and everything here but i guess this is how it is um i will say I was took an edible yesterday, and I started watching oh. Tay Zande. Okay. <laughs> and I, Mr. Tay. it's it's honestly so good. <laughs> chocolate rain. Yeah, chocolate rain. Some stay dry <laughs> while others feel the pain. You would describe your relationship with Tay Zande as being close personal friends, wouldn't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm I'm half convinced it's a character. Well, you said you met him and he was like super uncomfortable, right? Yeah, but then I like to see him now is like kind of crazy. Do you remember the ch ch the cherry chocolate rain the Pepsi commercial he did? That's what I watched last night, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> cherry chocolate rain. Yeah. Hey, I really quick before we close out the stream or yeah. move on to the next thing or whatever. Um, yeah. What what get in on the debate? What do you think about Frasier and jeans? Someone said <laughs> Spencer Train. Yeah, the let's Spencer let's train. let's watch the Frasier trailer. Here we go. We're gonna watch it right now. Yeah, dude, I think it's gonna be so bad. Here we oh, go. Man. 
What is it about the city of Boston that leads me to forego the more sophisticated temptation of the fermented grape? Sitting here with a cold brew in my hand, I feel amalgamated with the hoi polloi. You are the classic everyman. <laughs> Freddy, You're not at Cheers, right? Dad. Yeah. Not there. You're at my door, unannounced. No, there's a shorter way to say that. Surprise! <laughs> What's going on? This guy, I mean, this guy dresses. Well, I guess Norris Frazier was never like that much too much. Even heard of. Is he just? Is he? Did you think the no. people writing this show watched the video of the two Boston Brahmins? <laughs> That's a classic I video. You, and I won't take no yeah. for an answer. So I've taken a job and I found a place to live. My dad. I mean, he can be kind of. He smelled really good. Yeah, he always smells really good. <laughs> That's fresh. Those are Christian Lacroix pillows. So Those are Christian we Lacroix pillows. On the couch. Not in jeans. But you're wearing jeans, bro. <laughs> but he, he's not gonna <laughs> sit down. That's why. That's why he's standing. Yeah. If I go back, wait. He's he's wearing. He look look. He's wearing the uh the fucking the fucking look in the in the poster right here. The that's all great. birds with the with the with the jeans. Is this? He's teaching. He's yeah, a he's, te he's, he's a he's a professor. He's Doctor Fraser Cray. Doctor. Doctor. Salads and scrambled things. Looks like they re-recorded the uh, the uh, theme song. Oh, there's a new version. The toast. I got some 1999 scotch, remastered mix. Top shelf. Of course, nothing less. No, it's on the top shelf of the Hutch green plastic jug. To do with those Salads and scrambles. Today I'm spending time with my son. Look at this. I right still here. think it's weird. Look at this uh, suede overshirt with polo sweater. Well, like half or quarter button up polo sweater, pullover sweater with a gingham shirt. I still think it's weird that they're just making this kid like the normal guy. Which wouldn't happen because that kid was straight up trad as hell. Wants yeah. Oh, that's too bad. I had somebody that I wanted to set you up with. I can be ready in five minutes. So what are you thoughts? Now, what okay. Do you, what you so it based on that first thing, we was like, oh, there's something about being in Boston, which makes you forego the fermented grape in favor of the hoi polloi's drink. Maybe that is it. He's in he's in Boston, so the Boston man wears jeans. Maybe that's the whole thing. Okay. That that's the only thing I could think of. You know, like he's trying mm. to be younger. I, they have to address it. If not, that's bad writing. Yeah, I, yeah they gotta, you know. Yeah, he. There's no way. I mean, a guy was debating me in my DMs about this a little bit because he's like, "Well, Frazier was never trad to begin with. He just wore designer." And I'm like, "That's half true because I mean, yeah, Armani and everything was trending, but he still didn't wear like trendy, trendy pieces." And also, I'll say, I saw some people say Frasier would never wear jeans. And I saw that, and I'm like, I think that's wrong. Um, and so I went to our Imgur album that you made for the, the podcast, and I was, my, I was correct, because there are photos of Frasier wearing jeans. Yeah, but he's wearing it with, like, dad sneakers and, like, a Henley sweater. Yeah. He's, he's fucking depressed as hell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Inside the series? Um, Why is this 22 minutes long? So I heard that yeah. they killed off Niles. Is that true? That can't be true. I what thought it was just going to be like, that's... oh, he's still in Seattle or he's in England or something. So that's why he's not on the show. But if he's dead. Wait, what? Niles, Niles is absent. You're dead. It's a, it's a theory. It's a theory. Okay. It doesn't... Wait. Uh... I hope Niles isn't dead, you know? That would be a real shame. And it is true that in the original Cheers show, Frasier says that he's brother, his brother's dead or something, or his dad's dead or whatever. Mm. But maybe they would... Yeah, I don't know. I want a clip. I want a clip of this damn show, dude. <laughs> Frasier clip. New show. It's just the, the, the trailer. What's the teaser? I don't know how this goes. Hey, baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. eggs. And maybe I seem a bit confused. 
Yeah, maybe. No more collars. You pegged. <laughs> That's kind of iconic, though, that he's a fucking, like, radio psychiatrist. <laughs> but I don't, but I don't, I don't know, know what to do with those tossed salads and, salads and scrambled eggs. I mean, it's, you know. Has re the building. He's re entered. This could be just, like, fundamentally different from the original run. I mean, I guess they did have... that with. I guess they did that with Cheers and Frasier, That's so... That's true. You know. But... But uh, the new... The reboot is still called Frasier, right? It is still called Frasier. It could it could have been called, like, yeah, Boston or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what Boston, are they Boston, the series. A revival spinoff. Here we go, Frasier 2023. Okay, here we go. So... Anders Keith, okay, so Jack Cutmore plays for and Anders Keith will play David Crane, which is Frazier's nephew. Born to, according to my brother, this guy plays like this guy's he, the son of Niles and Daphne is the new Niles of the show. Mm. Uh, okay, yeah, Lilith is in it. Roz Doyle is gonna be in it. Um. Hell yeah, dude. I I want to see the show. It comes out next week. The Good Father. And it's next only week? it's only ten episodes? Hmm. Okay. Damn it goes it comes out in like as like a real show, god damn it. Yeah. I need I need to see this. And on Pluto TV, baby, let's go. There you go, Pluto. Pluto. Oh, wait, is it really on Pluto? It says it'll premiere on Paramount Plus and Pluto TV. So. Oh my God, that's free TV. Yeah, free TV. Free TV. Um. Where uh, are you? do you do you watch Pluto Tubi, Vivo? No. Any of those? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm a Tubi not. guy. I love Tubi. Or not Tubi? Yeah, Tubi. If we heard. I want to look. At, I'm gonna look up Anders Keith Frazier. Is he? Is he like? Is there like photos of him as? Okay, I don't. Here's a photo of him holding a beer sign, and he's not wearing what Niles would wear. So maybe that's mm. not it. That's he's, tough. That's tough. You know uh, the the he's... Freddy Freddy like the white guy in like the overshirt and jeans. This is like the the white guy protagonist look. Because if you watch um how I met your father, like yeah. the main like one of the main characters dresses like like yeah look at this guy it's like it's like the regular guy you know what I'm saying like this is... that's the regular guy look yeah like 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 a like a uh a Carhartt jacket or some kind of denim jacket jeans and boots uh-huh. flannel right here I will say it's not that bad of a show I think it's kind of fun to have like a bunch of friends hanging out and doing some fun antics yeah and, and they're not gonna tease you like they did with the other one about like you know like the uh the wife's been dead the whole time kind of a thing. So, yeah. Fun show. Fun show. Um, well, they should do a... Uh, what's what's the the t- Tommy Westfall or whatever? The St. Elsewhere thing? The what? Um, you know, do, do you know about that? So, I think Frazier's part of this. It's this whole thing where there was this show called St. Elsewhere that was a hospital drama, but the gimmick was they would constantly have cameos from like characters from other TV shows. So like a character from like law and order or something would show up. Um, like Frasier, I think was an episode or something or a character from Frasier. But anyway, um, the, uh, at the, the final episode, it reveals that the entire series took place in the mind of a severely autistic child who was holding a, uh, a, a a snow globe of a hospital and daydreaming um and so people have been like wait so does that mean he invented like Frasier and law and order and all these other shows like those also exist in his hand or in his head and i think you know we need to bring back a uh we need to bring back the um uh the the saint elsewhere we need to have that back damn yeah yeah i just found out that uh, that how much your father got canceled <laughs> Oh no! Damn, <laughs> it's my favorite show. Do you know what else got canceled? What the iCarly reboot? Oh really? <laughs> it or it, it just it. Uh, I had never watched it, but um, 
it just got uh it just it's like they just announced that they're not doing a third season um but they They did fully they fully ended on a big cliffhanger where she was like meeting her parents for the first time or whatever or whatever since the you know um but it was pretty funny it's crazy yeah Damn where's, the, where's the Ned's Declassified reboot, huh? Is that a thing? Well, they tried to get it a thing, but they wanted to do uh, Zoe 101 again, I think. Mm. And then that just kind of like flopped too. So, or I don't even know if it came out. So, yeah. I'm going to make it. Oh, they baby. Have a podcast. It's gonna happen. GQ, a GQ original. Yeah. Well, it? everyone, thank you for watching our show. What Pokemon was on GQ? What the Hold heck? On. Ten things she can't work out. But that's actually kind of crazy that she's on here. I mean, the, the what can't... is she talking about? Just like the ten things in her bag that she can't live without. Hmm. Uh, but She's yeah, special headphones. Anyway, thank you for everyone for watching this with us. Uh, we're gonna go record a podcast right now, or a part of it uh, that you'll we're see. We're gonna go our core due time. Uh, thank you guys for watching, MJ. Oh, oh, yeah. So I'm just gonna thank some people, but to get on that list, you have to go Patreon.com/slash on direction. Five dollars a month gets us to our Discord and our uh uh, our Patreon, no, our bonus episodes. Thank you. Oh, there you go. And ten dollars a month, you get all that. Plus, we thank you personally, MG. Who are we thanking? Uh, we're thanking our sidecast fanatics, Shane Curry, Philip Grigard, Henrik Wilberg, and Alexander Batin. I appreciate you guys so much. New episodes coming out pretty soon. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're watching this after the fact, which I'm sure a lot of you are, because this is very late for some people, uh, you're welcome. Not you're welcome. I you're mean, welcome. just just uh, enjoy it. Uh, but we'll see you guys next time. No idea when the next game is going to happen. If there's another cool article for us to cover, we'll definitely hop back on. But yeah, this is a little cool one-off for y'all. One-off. 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 We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>